like and subscribe right now or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Sometimes I think about our planet and the way nature has balanced it out so well with all the living and non-living beings. These are the gifts of nature and among them all, the most beautiful gift of nature to our planet is probably the animals. They form such a large kingdom of themselves and are so different from each other. Some are outright dangerous and make us flee the scene. Some are super cute and adorable and immediately make us fall for them head over heels. However, be aware, all those super cute and adorable animals can become your mortal enemies if touched. Believe this, some of the most innocent looking of them can kill you with their venom, others with their claws, and one may be from an ancient bubonic disease which wiped out almost half of Europe in the mid-1300s. Today I've brought 10 cutest animals that can kill you if touched. So it does not matter how much they touch your heart, you're not allowed to touch them. Understand? Okay, so let's roll and start memorizing the entries. You're not supposed to touch these animals. Number 10. Koala The wide, fluffy ears and cute little beady eyes and body like a stuffed toy, the adorability of koala bears immediately ask its viewers to hug them. But don't touch them, as all of their cuteness is a sheer deception. Upon feeling threatened, this creature can work out fast to defend itself and its defense mechanism supremely consists of taking human eyes out of their sockets. They are easily provoked and have great agility and speed to chase and claw out humans. They can even bite you. We consider koalas as bears, but they're marsupials, which means that they're closely related to the equally cute and equally deceptive kangaroo and wombat. So remember, they are not meant to be cuddled. Number 9. Platypus There rarely is a mammal that has as many unique features as a platypus. They're cute, probably one of the cutest. They lay eggs, a mammal laying eggs, quite extraordinary. They do not have a stomach, again, extraordinary. They have a bill that provides them with a sixth sense. They can detect and hunt other animals while having their eyes, ears, and nose closed. They have assassin-like tendencies. They have venomous spurs on the male species. So if a human comes in contact with this venom, their skin gets swollen and experiences pain for a couple of weeks. Number 8. Slow Loris Have you ever seen a slow loris? A look at their eyes will make you think that there is nothing more innocent and cuter than them in this world. But to your astonishment, slow loris are one of the most poisonous mammals in the world. Weirdly enough, their venom is laced with their glands and their elbows, which they rub to their hands and lick to their mouth before transferring a dose of toxicity with a simple bite. Quite sophisticated. Well, it is uncommon for a mammal to carry this much poison, and its venom has been compared with that of a king cobra. Do not fall for their puppy dog eyes and slow movement. Even an accidental bite of a slow loris can make you go into anaphylactic shock. The venom of slow loris only is fatal if you have an allergy to the toxin, but I suggest you do not take the chance. Number 7. Leopard Seals Leopard seals look so cute that no one could expect any harm from them. However, there are known cases of seal attacks on researchers where they showed quite aggressive behavior. Leopard seals have no natural predator of their own except for killer whales or great white sharks. One of their favorite meals is penguins. They've been known to decapitate penguins and drown humans. It seems that they rather enjoy hunting their prey and like to play with them before killing. Even if you manage to befriend them, their playful bite is enough to infect you with cellulitis which will make your skin swell. Just keep this information in mind whenever you want to swim or befriend a leopard seal. Number 6. Pufferfish Smiling face, beautiful scales, and swollen skin, pufferfish are the cutest of all. It's hard to not like them or not pinch them. But do you know that this little piece of beauty is the second most venomous spined animal in the world? It has got enough venom to kill 30 adult humans. If bitten by a pufferfish, its venom will likely paralyze your diaphragm and you're likely to suffocate to death. Pufferfish is edible only when prepared by professionals. Some people who love eating pufferfish claim that their liver is the tastiest part of their meat. 
Well, the liver is the one of the most poisonous as well. Number 5. Hedgehog A little bundle of cuteness and elegance. That's what I think of hedgehogs, but I never dared going near one of them. The dangerous quills on its back are a clear message to everyone interested in them. Yeah, I may be uh, beautiful and cute, but don't mess with me and do not touch me. They're better to be left alone, otherwise their quills can easily penetrate your skin. Their quills have a strain of bacteria in them, and when their quills penetrate human skin, it injects that skin with the bacteria, which leads to flu-like symptoms in the victim. A bad rash, high fever, some stomach pain. Despite such obvious danger from the hedgehogs, it's not stopped humans from keeping them as pets. Well, if you can manage the pain and symptoms for up to two weeks, you're welcome to keep them as pets. Number 4. Bottlenose Dolphins We hear the word dolphins and we take it as synonymous with friend. Dolphins are human's best friend, right? You're probably wrong. They're your mortal enemies, disguised in their cuteness and sociability. Dolphins are pretty ruthless creatures, and in case you do not know, they are known as the psychopaths of the seas. They play volleyball with baby sharks before killing them. If it's not enough for you, then there are reports that they've been found killing their own babies. An utter abomination, right? The bottlenose dolphins are a specific breed of sadistic creatures. The males of this species have been found to chase a couple of swimmers or divers while they even try to get intimate with human females. They will kill the male human counterpart if they have to, in order to win the attention of the female human. Next time you go in meeting with these creatures or to a dolphin show, remember to keep your distance. Number 3. Red Fox The last thing you would want as your pet, or you should try touching, is the red fox. She's a beauty to watch, a perfect small creature loaded with cuteness and cunningness alike. She's probably the greatest threat to humans because her main source of food is your household pets or human babies. They are the notorious carrier of the rabies as well. They may appear very romantic and cuddly, and may arouse a keen desire in you to keep them as pets. Do not forget that they are cunning creatures, and will deceive you as soon as they get a chance. Back in 2013, an urban red fox sneakily entered a London household and tried to drag a four-week-old baby from its cradle. Fortunately, the baby's mother came out and shrieked frantically to scare away the fox. Back in 2018, an eight-year-old girl was hospitalized after being attacked by a fox while she was walking with one of her friends near her home in New Jersey. Red foxes are super active, curious, and cunning, and love to explore, which makes them even more threatening. Red foxes are outright dangerous. Stay away from them. Number 2. Norwegian Forest Cat Looking at the name of this breed, it's not hard to determine where they hail from. The Norwegian Forest Cat, called the Shagkat in Norway, is a natural European breed that descended from domestic cats first introduced by the ancient Romans. Myths suggest the cats were in Norway for hundreds of years, but the Norwegian Forest Cat didn't gain popularity in the US until the 1980s. Americans fell in love with the cats for their playful personalities and natural athleticism. Now it's time for our number one slot. Well, one can argue over its positioning, but I've placed prairie dogs at the number one position. Number one, prairie dogs. Prairie dogs are so adorably small and cute, how on earth could they pose any danger to human beings? Are they really dangerous to even touch? Well, they are. Before going further, I must tell you guys beforehand that these little bundles of utter cuteness are not dogs. They are, in fact, rodents. The reason they're dangerous to touch is that they are a food source for many predators like coyotes or eagles. So any suspicious approach toward them will not be taken as a friendly gesture. Instead, they will immediately act defensively. This is in their instincts. Regardless of their intelligence and sociability, prairie dogs never make good home pets as they become jumpy on any physical touch and snap at you. If you're still on and making them your pets because of their cuteness and charm, and you also don't mind them biting you, well, I have another thing to tell you as well. Some prairie dogs are still carriers of the notorious bubonic plague, the plague which wiped out half of Europe and Asia around the mid-1300s. If you still don't feel discouraged enough to drop your idea of adopting them, well, think about their sharp claws. 
These clever, quick and agile rodents are good at cutting things with their claws. If you love any of the above mentioned animals, well, I have an idea to give way to your wishes to cuddle them. Get a stuffed version of your favorite animal and cuddle as much as you want. Keep yourself and others safe.